Recently I hit 100,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me and I'm really appreciative to everyone who supported me in reaching that goal. And today what I got from YouTube is this big box in the mail. Uh, so we're gonna open it up and take a little bit of a look at what's inside. Open it up. There's some quality foam. Then a, a big letter and a card. Cool, I'll read that later. And we have one large YouTube plaque. Now that's a, a pretty cool looking plaque. It's got a nice mirror in the center of it. Uh, but of course, uh, in the style of this channel, uh, it wouldn't really be in line with the rest of my videos if I just accepted the plaque and that was it. So what we're gonna actually do is have a little bit of a look at the aerodynamics of the plaque. Now to do this, uh, I'm actually gonna 3D scan the plaque and then I'm gonna go and run it through CFD and we'll see what the result is. So to scan this up, I'm just gonna use an Xbox Connect scanner. Um, and then what I've done is I've positioned a few little targets around the, the plaque just so that we can orient the view. Uh, and then we'll just scan it by just doing passes around it like so. Now I figured that this mirror was going to be an absolute pain to scan. Uh, and as you can see, because we're getting the reflections off everything, it, it's kind of annoying. Uh, and if I was doing this properly, I'd throw down some masking on it, whether that was a bit of talcum powder or some tape. But of course, I don't want to chuck those on my brand new plaque. Uh, so I've left it as is, and what I'll do is, is that because this geometry is so simple, I'll just reconstruct it in CAD. So that CFD has now come back, uh, and just having a bit of a look uh, at the model, I was immediately a, a bit dissatisfied. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we have a look at what happens when we just run the plaque in a straight line, uh, what actually happens is we end up with a bit of a, a separation around this whole front area. We've got a big recirculation region. You can see that when I turn on the streamlines there, uh, that we, we just have basically this big separated region. And so I can't really see much of what's going on around the actual play button itself. So this I wasn't super happy with, so I decided to uh, take it a little bit further and run it in some additional conditions. Uh, so what I did was I went and I cranked the plaque up. So I, I angled the plaque to get some nice downforce on it. So I put it up, uh, I think it was about 30 degrees there. And I also tried to see what would happen if I put the plaque in a bit of crosswind. Uh, so I put the wind coming in an angle uh, and then I've got the, the play button there. So the intent of both of these options was to basically allow the, the play button to get a cleaner flow to it so I could see what was actually going on around there. So with the angled up case of the plaque, uh, actually the most interesting things that you can see are all going on on the underside of the plaque. Uh, so what we've got is we've got some two big old edge vortices that are generating some nice suction on it. And then we've got a really clear sort of separation region of flow on the bottom of the plaque. But this is all just sort of what you'd expect from a flat plate. Uh, when we look at the actual play button itself, we can see that we have just some very little separation on the backside where we're gonna get some little recirculations uh, because it, it is of course a, a backwards facing step even if it is at a bit of an angle. And if we look at the surface flow, what we can see is, is that we actually have uh, at the forward facing step at the back of the, um, the play button where the wind's sort of coming into it, uh, we have a bit of separation off the top. So you can see this separated region along the back lip um, so we're separating there. Uh, and then in the front, we've got a big stagnation region. That's more or less as we would expect for a forward facing step. Um, but we can see there's some asymmetry to the flow because the, the, the triangle of the play button has resulted in some, some different structures being formed on the surface through here. Um, and as a result, you can actually see that the, the attachment of the different parts of the, the rear step is quite different depending on what the triangle is actually feeding back to it. Now we put into crosswind, we get some very interesting structures indeed. Uh, the first thing that you get, and keep in mind this is crosswind with the plaque completely flat, uh, is that you get this cool little leading edge vortex getting rolled up here. So if you follow those little gray lines through, you'll see that they're going and they're forming this little edge vortex along there, which is generating us a little bit of local suction. Back further around the play button itself, we can see that we're actually getting this same sort of structure rolling up where the forward facing step is at the back of the play button. Uh, so we can see we're getting a little bit more suction here. Uh, and if I turn on the, the surface flow, what we'll see is we can see that little bit of, of roll up there that's our vortex that's happening along the backside of the play button. We've also got that same sort of forward facing step effect that we saw earlier on the front side of the triangle, uh, where we end up with some stagnation in front of the triangle 
and then we've got a recirculation region over the top of the triangle and then we've also got recirculation regions on either side of the triangle. Now we can also go and have a look at the loss distribution in a, in a volume profile around the plaque and we can see that we have a lot of loss spilling out in the bottom corner of the plaque when we're in crosswind. Obviously the leading edge vortex along here is quite lossy where that roll up occurs and that then spills off the side but you can see that we, we are from the actual play button itself generating some loss at that forward facing step and also where its little secondary vortex is rolling up there. And then of course we naturally have some losses off the trailing edge of the whole plaque. So overall I think that aerodynamically there are definitely some refinements that could be done here. Uh, the first thing I'd do would be to smoothen out the whole thing. Uh, so ideally we wouldn't have the play button at all here and just have a flat plate. Uh, but if you had to keep the play button you'd go and you'd smooth everything out just that you have a little bit less of these forward and backward facing steps just to reduce the losses. Uh, and I think also we could do some treatments in terms of going for thinner trailing edges, chamfering everything up and just applying fillets where appropriate to just make it a little bit more aerodynamically efficient. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that analysis of the uh, YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. Uh, thanks for watching everyone and thanks for all your support that has led to this point. Uh, if you like this video and you're a newcomer to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, and click the notification bell to see the latest updates from my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll see you next time.